Good day, YouTubers. It's uh, the Cisco Kid here, and I'm in my vehicle. It is running, and today is May 2nd. It was brought to my attention in a previous post where I was uh, just reviewing some of the quirks and comments about my Sony AX, AV, XAV AX100 uh, Android Apple CarPlay receiver that Sony had released a new firmware update, and I believe it came out April 25th. So, I have been into the settings on my vehicle, or my radio, to see if I have the newest firmware, which I, I, I knew I would not because I purchased it before that date. So, you would do this to access your firmware settings from the main screen, swipe to the right, enter the settings menu, and scroll down and you will see firmware version. I am on firmware 1.00.09. Now, in order to update your firmware, if you look in my previous uh, video, you will find a comment by a Mark who provided the link, and I will link that in the description of this video that I'll be uploading shortly. And I'm just here to perform the update. So basically what you do is you download that file from Sony's website. It's in a zip or RAR format and you would extract it. It will extract it to an update folder. Within that folder, there's gonna be two files, a bin file from memory, and I believe a Q file, maybe I'm not correct on the Q, but a bin file and something else. Those are the update files. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna then format a flash drive into FAT32, and they recommend that you run your car for this update. So my car is now running and they said connect your USB device. So we can see that my USB device is connected to the USB outlet of the receiver that's in my storage compartment there. They recommend you power off the unit, which I'm now gonna do. And then the next step on the receiver, they say press the home button, select settings, then tap the general settings icon. So home button, settings and from here I'm going to tap the general settings icon which I've done and I'm going to select my firmware and then I'm going to select update. It is now reading the file it sees that there is the correct firmware which I download and I extracted 1.0 2.06. I'm now going to update it. it. Says it takes about five minutes. Don't shut your car off or do anything during that period. I'm now hitting update. And as you can see, there's instructions do not shut down system or disconnect the USB device during the update. System will automatically reboot multiple times. The file size is about 82 megabytes large, 82 or 85 by memory. So right now I'm just waiting for it to flash the new firmware to the system. And <clears throat> some of the updates that this firmware will provide is better connectivity with USB drives and some type of audio module, I believe, which was mentioned on Sony's website. So those are the features that this firmware update offers. Once the update is finished, you'll be prompted that it's complete and at that point you'll be able to confirm by entering the settings going to the firmware version and you'll be able to you'll be able to view that you are on the latest firmware okay so i'll be right back in a moment or i'll just let this continue here i don't think it's going to be that much longer we're at 53 percent Okay guys, I'm now back after the unit has reset itself or the firmware update has completed. Uh, the process took about five to six minutes as stated. You'll notice that the time in the top there is now different. And now what I'll do is I'll return um, after I've taken a look on Sony's website as to the settings that they recommend you write down, which you'll need to change 
once the firmware revision has occurred. So I did notice that upon the update starting, it restarted once, it rebooted. Then there was a longer period where it went through the process, you know, 1% at a time until it completed uh, the full update and then it restarted again. So it did two restarts and they confirm, or you're supposed to confirm that it has completed once it comes to the safety screen here. And at this point, it's just okay. And now what I'll do is I'll take a look at the balance of the settings that I need to change within the settings, the general settings. And right now we'll just quickly look to see what firmware revision we're on. So you can see that the system has updated from what it was on previous. Hey guys, uh, Cisco Kid here. I just wanted to point out some of the settings that automatically get uh, reset or get set back to their default settings on the system after you've uh, updated the firmware on your XAV AX100 Sony Android Auto and Apple CarPlay stereo receiver. So I just was taking a quick look on the Sony website to see what those settings are. And this will just give you a quick uh, rundown. So in the general settings area in that menu you've got your clock time, date time, beep, steering control, steering control custom. And under the sound settings, the extra bass, EQ, balance, fader, crossover, and DSO. Those are some settings that you're just going to have to go in and uh, reset to how you want them configured. And I'm not sure if it would drop the Bluetooth connection that's being set up. Uh, I don't believe it will. It's showing that Bluetooth's on in the right corner there. So I don't have my phone handy with me, but I'll follow up. And uh, I believe all those settings would be retained. So that's about it. Um, so if you haven't updated your unit and you are on the older firmware, this is just a quick little video tutorial, pretty down and dirty quick. Um, that's about it. Everything worked out fine here. I think you probably could do it without running the car as long as you've got a ch fully charged battery.